In this video, we are going to solve the chapter one practice set wherein we are going to see a lot of questions. We are going to practically understand all the JavaScript concepts which we have understood in chapter number one. Let's go to the computer screen and let's start solving questions from chapter number one. All right, so it's time to solve our practice set. In this practice set, we are going to practice everything that we have learned in chapter one. So let's get started. Let me open this PDF for you. So the question number one says, create a variable of type string and try to add a number to it. So simply a variable is going to be of type string and you have to add a number to it, okay? Let's see what happens. And this is what the question says. Let's see what happens when you try to add number to a string. Is it possible? Is it going to throw an error? Let's find out. So I'm going to create a new file ch1ps.js chapter one practice set and i'm going to say console.log uh, practice set okay so so this is my habit if whenever i'm moving to a new environment i just test using console log you, you run this and if it executes all good if it doesn't see the error try to fix the problem okay now create a variable of type string and add an integer to it so i'm going to say let a is equal to harry okay this is a variable of type string and all i'm going to do here is i'm going to say a plus b where my b is going to be an integer okay so i'm going to say let b is equal to five and let me run this and what happened uh, what just happened you, you just saw harry five is being printed on the screen what does this mean this means that Whenever you try to add an integer to a string, the integer is converted to a string and the resultant output is a string. So these two will get concatenated. So this is an observation. And I wanted you to make this observation. Question number two, use type of operator to find the data type of a string in the last question. I actually meant data type of the result in last question. Okay, so not string, I meant result. Okay, so let's try to find out the data type of result. So let me do something like this. I'll say let result is equal to a plus b. Okay, and I'm going to console log result, not a plus b. Okay, and also let me mark the question. Question number two. This is question number one. Let me not write practice at console log. Question number one, question number two. Question number Question number two says, simply do this. What is going to come in the terminal as the output? String is going to come as the output because the result is a string. Okay, question number two is solved. Question number three says, create a const object in JavaScript. Can you change it to hold a number later? So all you have to do is create a const object. Okay, let's create, but before that, let me open the screencast mode question number three says just create a variable let me let me do something like this of type uh, create a const object in javascript okay so this, this is this should be an object and not let const okay so i'm going to say names names to marks okay is equal to and i'm going to say harry 45 Shivani, Shivani is going to get 89 marks. Shivani, be happy. Now, Raghav, Raghav, you are going to get 23 marks. I'm sorry. Then Deepika, Deepika, thank me later. Now, all I'm, all I'm going to do is I'm going to change the names to marks colon, not colon, uh, square bracket Deepika to zero. Okay, let us say I'm not happy with Deepika anymore. I give Deepika 99 marks. Now I'm not happy with Deepika anymore. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to say, okay Deepika, since I'm not happy with you anymore, let me do something like this. Okay, let me do something like this. I'll say Deepika is equal to 78. So from 99 to 78, I know Deepika is going to get shocked. She's going to say, I was getting 99 marks. Why are you giving me 78 marks? What's, what's happening? I don't know Deepika, I'm very sorry. Now if I print, no, not print, sorry, console log. Console log is the print of JavaScript. Actually, I, 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 I code in a lot of languages and I tend to type different functions from different languages. And you know, this happens. So, okay, so let me, let me show you what, what just happened. This object is a constant. And I was able to change Deepika's marks. 
what just happened you must be wondering that this is an object and this is a const object why am i able to change dpk's marks why 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 does it not show that this is a constant and you cannot change the because marks actually this value is not constant this object is a constant which means that i have created an object in memory and names to marks is mapping to this object it's kind of pointing to the object now what is happening is this object is in the memory names to marks is a reference this is the name of the reference and this reference is pointing to this thing now if i change this thing I'm not actually changing the reference of names to class to point to something else. I'm just changing the same place in memory to Deepika 78. So basically the object remains the same. The content of the object changes. So when the content of the object changes, JavaScript doesn't have any problem even if the object is a constant. I hope you understood that, which is why I'm able to change Deepika's marks. And this question was just created to teach you this so create a const object in javascript can you change it to hold a number later can you actually change it to hold a number later now let me see can i change it to hold a number later let, let me see can i do something like this can i do something like this let me solve the question now the question was not this the question was can you change it to hold a number can i do something like this is equal to eight the answer is no i cannot do this it's going to throw an error because i'm actually changing the value of this reference this reference was actually pointing to this object in memory now i'm saying create a new integer in memory and make this names to marks point to this no this is not going to happen names to marks is a reference which is a constant and it is going to point to the same thing in the memory i can do this but cannot do this so let me write here cannot do this but can do this okay let me do something like this and names to marks as you already saw i was able to print it okay now let me now let me run this program just to show you that it works yes it works now the next question says that try to add a new key to the const object in problem 3 were you able to do it now answer this question in the comments can you add a new key to this object i want all of you to pause this video and type your answer in the comments i'm going to test how much you learned from the previous example that i took pause this video and write yes or no can you add a new key to this object and i'm going to tell you the answer to this okay i hope everybody commented now let me add deepak deepak not deepak deepak okay and let me deepak is a nice guy let me give him 98 but not as nice as deepika was before note that I'm just kidding. So names to marks Deepak is equal to 98. I'm actually adding a new key to the object names to marks. Can I do that? Let's find out. Let me run this program. The answer is yes, I can do that because the object remains the same. I'm just expanding the same object. I can always do that. I can either expand the object. I can change Deepika's marks to 78. I can do all these things, but I cannot make names to marks to point to a different place in memory. This is not possible. Okay, let me run this program and show you that this is possible. We just added Deepak to the object. And yes, this is a const object, but we were able to add Deepak to this. Okay, I hope you understood what I wanted you to understand. Now, the question number five says that write a JavaScript program to create a word meaning dictionary of five words. Okay, well, this is something that I want you to actually do. But let's go to dictionary.com. Dictionary dot com yes this one okay let me copy paste i can why am i not able to see words like the home page is supposed to show me few words right so let, let 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 me let me say question number four here this was actually question number four this was me explaining question number four this is question number five and the question number five is write a JavaScript program to create a dictionary. So let's do that. So I'll say const dict is equal to, remember I told you that you, you have to use const everywhere you can. Anywhere you want to use a variable, try to use const first. If you're not able to use const, try to use let, avoid var, okay? Now const dict is equal to this thing. Let me paste this word, ataraxia. Do you know the meaning of this word? No, you don't. Your English is not as good as mine. The meaning of attraction is a state of freedom from emotional disturbance and anxiety. What are you guys doing? 
very bad okay anyways no problems at all let, let let's talk about the second word do you know this the meaning of this domon you don't the meaning is raised part of the sandal that casts the shadow shame on you you don't know the meaning of this because your english is not as good as mine so let me copy this uh let me copy this and let me paste it i'm actually a better copy paster than you i can challenge you okay do you know yakka you don't know yakka shame on you it means hard work all so i want all of you to do yakka okay everybody should do yakka yakka is something that that is going to you know give you some success no computer game no laptop no roaming with friends nothing is going to give you success only yakka is going to give you success so focus on yakka and forget everything else just kidding ever okay so so i actually wanted to add five words i'm just trying to entertain you guys while i'm adding these words so don't try to take me seriously please so 1 2 3 4 we have added four words i mean take me seriously while i'm teaching javascript don't take me seriously while i am trying to entertain you okay so you have to figure out when i'm trying to entertain you and when i'm teaching javascript okay so a fossil footprint okay so let me paste this and let's see if i can print a uh, tick dot yakka okay so it should tell me work specially hard work okay so so you can see that work specially hard work is being printed on the screen i want all of you guys to tell me that whether you are enjoying this course or not i want all of you to tell me in the comment section right now and also if you haven't already accessed the javascript playlist make sure you do that this is a javascript english playlist make sure you access this so that you have access to all the videos uh, i hope you were able to understand these problems and i hope these practice sets are helping you a lot thank you so much guys for watching this video and i will see you next time